if we truly are in the last stage and we can gauge this time frame based on the growth rate of our artificial intelligence, then where is this in the Bible? Because we know the Bible transcends time. It talks about the beginning and the ending. Well, if you go to the book of Daniel chapter 2, you're going to see that King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream. And in the dream, there are four kingdoms that he describes, the final kingdom being one mixed of iron and clay. It says in Daniel chapter 2, 42 through 44, that they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they won't cleave one to another as iron is not mixed with clay. In the days of these kingdoms, God will set up a kingdom which will never be destroyed and will stand forever. So you see, this is talking about the kingdom before Christ's return. It's made of part iron and part clay. So really think about that. Daniel looking at an artificially intelligent humanoid machine literally wouldn't be able to describe it. So he would use what he could understand, the vernacular of his time. Iron and clay. Men are made of the clay of the earth, which represents our flesh. Iron represents technology, mechanics, and the seed represents the genetic code of humanity. So right there in Daniel chapter 2, he's telling us the final generation is going to be one where the genetic code of humanity is tampered with, and they are part iron, part clay. But notice it says they will try to do this, but it will not succeed, and God will set up his kingdom, which will stand forever. This is exactly like the days of Noah, where the genetic code of humanity was tampered with once before, and why God sent the flood. But this time, he won't be coming with water, he'll be coming with fire to destroy this earth and recreate it. Pray, I pray a blessing and understanding upon the hearer right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke any spirit of witchcraft, any spirit of deception that would be over this person that they might have, uh, might have come on to them through music, media, Hollywood, uh, entertainment. Uh, even Halloween itself is one of the most demonic things that you can partake in. So I pray in Jesus' name for this person, God, to be set free from the things of this world. Give them the spirit of understanding. Holy Spirit, come upon them in Jesus' name, not by me or any goodness in myself, but by your goodness and your mercy. Come upon this person, God. Cleanse them for, all, for uh, your righteousness' sake, for your glory's sake. Uh, cleanse me, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray the blood over us all in Jesus' name. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your mercy, which is new every morning. Pray a blessing over this person now. Let them know your grace. Amen.